Welcome into Bears Now by Chat Sports. I'm Harrison Graham here on the call in app, set to answer all of your questions. Hop into that caller queue. We'll chop up some Bears football back and forth, and we'll have a good time. Make sure you guys are following us. Subscribe to us on call in. Chatsports.com slash Bears Call is a redirect link if you're watching this somewhere else. Uh, weekly live shows here on the call in app where you guys get an opportunity to call into the show. All right, Jock Harrington, and uh, let me know if it's Jock or. Uh, uh, Hawkus, uh, because uh, I had a buddy uh, growing up uh, who pronounced uh, it Hawkus. So if I'm saying it wrong, let me know. Uh, appreciate you for tuning in, though. What's going on? Hey, what's up, Harrison? Can you hear me? Yeah, I got you. What's up? Hey, first of all, I became a fan of the show late last, well, early last year. I was looking for more Bears content, and I found, you know, uh, Bears now, and Honestly, it's been some of the best content. So, first of all, I want to thank you guys for what you do over there. Appreciate that. And second of all, um, I see, like, the national media. Like, everybody's just, like, finding it, like, the easy thing to pile on the Bears and say that we're going to be the worst team. And I just – I honestly don't believe that that's the case. I feel like this team is actually going to surprise more people than what they think. So, what is your opinion on that? Yeah, it's a good question, and – uh we can go back and forth a little bit on this because I'm kind of with you. Look, I'm not going to sit here and say this is a, some top 10 roster in the league or something like that. I'm not saying that. But this team has some good players. Roquan Smith is a premier linebacker in the National Football League. Jalen Johnson is a, I won't say a, a tier one corner, but he's a tier two corner. He's a really good player. Uh, you've got Robert Quinn, who had 18 and a half sacks last year. You've got uh, all, you know, all these other guys who have – contributed to this football team. Darnell Mooney, David Montgomery, Cole Komet had a pretty good year last year. Obviously, we're all waiting to see what this new coaching staff does, what the offense looks like, what Luke Getzey's going to do, what Justin Fields is going to do, what step he's going to take uh, this year. But I just don't see this whole, yeah, they're going to go 3-14 and 14 and they're going to have the number one pick. You're telling me that the Texans have a better roster, that the um, – that the Lions – I don't think the Lions are, are a better team right now. I don't think the Jets are a better team right now. Uh, I just don't. And I think this coaching staff alone is going to make this team better. And on top of all of that, the schedule is much more manageable than it was last year. So, if you're still with me, uh, Jock, uh, I agree with you. I don't. I think this team could win six, seven, eight, nine games potentially. I'm not going to say they're going to win 10, 11 games, but – who knows? I, I don't think it's completely out of the realm of possibility. And that's exactly what I said. I appreciate it, man. All right. Appreciate you. And uh, for those watching, listening, wherever you are, get in the chat. Let me know how many wins for the Bears this year. 17-game schedule. Predict it for us. How many wins do you think the Bears will have here in the 2022 season? All right. We'll pot up the next caller here. We've got Brandon in the chat. Brandon, welcome in. If you uh, click that mic button in the bottom right hand of your screen, you can unmute yourself and be ready to go. What's up? Hello, Harrison. Um, I was wondering if uh, what what do you think is going to happen in free agency? Because I feel like they should they should at least go after like a right guard, like Quentin Spain or something else. Yeah, we've talked about Spain and uh, other options out there. It's kind of dwindled a bit. I would sign him right now and plug him in at right guard, but that's just me. What I've said for a few weeks, I think it's very possible that the Bears are going to get through these OTAs, get through minicamp, then reevaluate the roster. Okay, do we feel good about this position? Do we need to add someone here? Uh, and then between there and training camp, they could add a few guys. I think that's possible. They could also get into training camp, see how the first week goes with con full contact and – uh, you know, make more evaluations after that as well. But, yeah, I mean, I got major question marks at right guard. Maybe rookie Zach Thomas can start there, but the idea of Dakota Dozier or Sam Mustafer is not very intriguing to me at that spot. So I'm with you. They got $22 million in cap space. They can use some of that money if they want to. Most teams like to keep at least 7 to $10 million if they can available for the regular season if there's injuries, but – uh, I expect the Bears to sign a player or two at some point. Yeah, I agree. Any other spots? Well, thank you. you. Love the show. Have? Okay, appreciate it. We'll go to the next caller. We got Jess on the line. Jess, welcome in. What's going on? Oh, lost Jess for a sec. Here we go. Try to bring him back on. 
There we go. Jess, what's up? Welcome back into the show. You got a question for me. Unmute yourself and fire away. No Jess? No question? All right. Here we go. Try one more time. There you go, Amen. Jess. I clicked the wrong Sorry, guy, I think. My yeah. fault. Whoever that was, feel free to hop back in. What's up? Hey, um, so... Yeah, I was doing a bit of like a bear schedule prediction myself. And I have us going like eight and nine. I have us splitting with like Detroit, Minnesota, you know. Yeah. I have us losing to the Jets. Uh, but I think we'll upset like like the Patriots and upset the 49ers week one. What are your thoughts on that? Like we start off five and two, then we finish eight and nine. Would you feel like a that's a pretty successful season? Yeah, I mean I think eight and nine would be a great season, honestly. Um I look, a big goal for me this year. Can you beat the Packers at least once? I, like, honestly, like, you got to start winning some of these games. Like, I, I'm realistic. I don't expect this team to win the division this year. Anything's possible. I understand that. I'm not expecting that, though. But can you beat the Packers one out of two times? I think that would be big. Um, you know, yeah, if, you can, awesome. if you can pull that off, if you can, you know, go three and three against the division, I think that'd be pretty good. Um, and then, you know, try to win, you know, beat the Texans. That's a game you need to win at home. I like 49ers yeah, I like week one. You made, you made a good point. Yeah, the Giants. Yeah, there's three or four on the schedule where you're like, okay, we need to win these games. Like Detroit at home. Uh, I think the Texans at home. Uh, you know, uh, the Giants, that's a game you should win. So if you can find those three or four gimmies and then win three or four more, get to like eight, set, six, seven, eight wins, I think that'd be decent. Be competitive in some other games. So. I think week yeah, one. Yeah, I think week one will tell a lot. I'm curious what your thoughts are. I mean, Trey Lance's first start on the road in Chicago. I think that's an opportunity to beat a team that's probably better than you. Yeah, and we, we're similar type of teams, you know, like San Francisco and Chicago. They both like running the ball. You know, San Francisco is yep. just a bit more established with like an efficient play caller, but we're kind of built similarly. I say our secondary is like definitely better. Yeah, you know, they they got like Traverius Ward on an overpaid contract. At, yeah. That's about it, you know. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, I mean, last year the Bears easily could have won that game. They kind of imploded in the fourth quarter, but and that's a Niners team that went to the NFC title game. So I definitely think that game's winnable. Yeah. And tra anytime a quarterback makes his first start and it's on the road, it's it's not going to be easy. So I think that's you know if you yeah like if you could pick any week to play the Niners, I think Week One's honestly the best you could have drawn realistically because they usually kind of get going midseason anyway. Yeah, for sure. And I see us getting an upset on that game. But, you know, unfortunately, I still don't see us beating Green Bay, you know. Yeah. We'll like, see. It's it's hard, you know, to chalk it up as a W until you see it for your own eyes. But, no, hey, you enough. know, rookie rookie head coaches in Chicago be beating Green Bay. So, yeah, hopefully the trend will continue, right? That's true. Exactly. Yep. Jess, appreciate that. Uh, we'll get to the next caller in a second. Speaking of the Packers, just, you know what to do. Get the FGBs going in the comment section, spam FGB. No one likes the Packers. Uh, go ahead and light up that comment section. All right, uh, Bart, I think I accidentally clicked you a minute ago, so we'll try and get you back on. Bart, welcome in. If you want to unmute yourself in the bottom right-hand corner, uh, you'll be good to go. What's up? Yeah, hey, Harrison. Uh, I've been a long-time Bears fan. I just want to say um, they got us listed as the worst team uh, – preseason or whatever they pitch um the bears have never been sorry or just non-fighters like yeah we're gonna win some games i got a question that um do you know do you have any idea of what game you think we could sneak out like we had a couple close games last year we should have won do you have any um ideas of a couple games that we might to pull out our asses it's <laughs> a good question um you know, the game we just mentioned, uh, I'll just pull up the schedule so I just have it in front of me. I really – I wouldn't say it's, quote, pulling it out of their ass, but I think that game against the Niners week one is winnable. I really do. It's at home. Trey Lance's first start unless, for some reason, Jimmy G's the guy. I don't think that's going to be the case. I think that's an opportunity. You know, I look at, like, you know, road game against the Patriots – 
uh, in a primetime game. Could that be one to take? Cowboys, uh, a road game, that's an opportunity. Dolphins at home. You know, you get to these games that you might be a slight underdog in, but you have a chance to steal. How about the Packers at home late in the year? Can you finally beat these uh, SOBs? That would certainly uh, be nice. Uh, I don't think you're going to beat the Bills. I don't think you're going to win in Green Bay. Uh, you know, so I think those are a couple games. Philadelphia at home in mid-December maybe. Maybe that's a chance uh, to beat a team that could be pretty good. So, you know, I think week one's going to tell us a lot. Not necessarily win or lose, but if they're competitive and play the Niners tough, even if they lose a close game, I think this team's going to compete with some people this year. Hey, I believe the same thing. That's why I'm trying to bet on the Bears this year. Ah, I you. believe we can pull some of the games out. You know, um, do you have a good betting website or app or anything? Uh, yeah. Use? Hey, slide my DMs at HGram NFL. Uh, I'll hook you up. All right. Twitter or Instagram at right. HGram NFL. All right, man. Appreciate that. <laughs> So there goes Bart. Uh, if you want to hop in and ask a question, hop into the caller queue. Uh, don't have anybody in there right now. Perfect time to tell you guys to hit that subscribe button here on Colin. If you're watching later on YouTube or uh, Rumble, chatsports.com slash Bears Colin, that is the place to go to subscribe. And uh, we do weekly live shows. We're trying to continue to grow this show uh, to get more followers, uh, subscribers by football season. We currently have... Uh, let's see. Got about 240, 241 as we sit right now. Trying to get to 1,000 by week one. Lofty goal, but I think we can get there, uh, especially once we get into the preseason. Uh, okay, one more caller here. We've got uh, Alex uh, Lancaster. Oh, you uh, you uh, hopped out of there. Uh, we can go back to go back to Jess then, who's back in the queue. You got one more for me, Jess? What's up? Hey, what's up, man? Uh, all right, I got another one. Okay. So, do you feel like, like, let's say we finish like with the 14th overall pick or like the 12th overall pick, you know, 12 to 16 range? Do you see us like trading that pick in like a third or a second or a fourth for like a top wide receiver currently in the NFL? Or do you see us trading up to draft a wide receiver in the draft? It's possible. Uh, it's possible you may have may not have to move up either. I, you know, there's going to be a lot of good receivers in the, this draft, so you should be able to get somebody in the mid teens there. Also, with next year on paper set to be a better quarterback class, more QBs should go early, which means you know less teams are taking you know receivers, for example, in the top ten. You know, Bryce Bryce Young, C.J. Stroud, both going to be top five picks unless one of them flames out this year. A couple other guys that could go high. The Kentucky kid's pretty good. Uh, we'll see Van Dyke out of Miami as well, but um, I think that would help the Bears cause. But yeah, you could move up potentially if you want to get a Jackson Smith and Jigba, uh, or yeah. you could use that pick to trade for, for a star receiver. Uh, what you want is options. You don't want to be tunnel vision on one player or one idea. So hopefully the Bears show enough this year that they can be flexible come uh, the NFL draft. For sure. And like having Mooney, you know, hopefully break out will also, you know, yeah, help exactly. us chill out. You know, we don't need like a overpay for like a number one, you know. Yeah. But yeah, thanks, man. Exactly. All right. Appreciate the question. Like I said, hit that subscribe button, chatsports.com slash bears call in. Weekly shows here on the call in app.